Well, g'day. Today, I am going to be trying some uh, Luwak coffee. And uh, as a result of that, I have my Indonesian shirt on and I'm looking forward to this. Um, some time ago, uh, I was in Western Australia and having a conversation with the pastors there and we're talking about coffee. Um, and I mentioned how much I would love to try the coffee that is created by the palm civets um, in Indonesia. And um, Elizabeth uh, took, took it on as a uh, challenge. Uh, she is Indonesian and uh, she was going home um, in the not too distant future and she made it her mission to, uh, to get me some uh, Luwak coffee. And um, I, uh, I promised her that when I tried the coffee, I would uh, videotape the experience. This is uh, the most expensive coffee uh, in the world. And uh, it appears on the um, movie, The Bucket List, as one of the uh, experiences that uh, uh, one of the characters wants to have in life or, uh, or, or one of the things that they find most enjoyable is drinking this, this uh, very special coffee. So I feel enormously privileged um, to have received this gift and uh, I don't know what to expect. Um, I am going to um, try and edit this video down so that it's not too long because I've got to actually uh, open this packet up, brew the, uh, boil the water and, uh, and make the coffee. So the instructions say uh, one tablespoon to 250 grams of water, uh, 250, um, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, milliliters, 250 milliliters of water. And uh, so I'm probably gonna try and look at three tablespoons uh, for 750 um, mils and uh, um, in order to be able to, to brew it inside my, uh, my um, plunger. All right, so let's see how we go. First of all, I'm gonna open this up and uh, see what we're dealing with. We've got the, uh, we've got the packet here. Cut this open. All right, I have the scissors and uh, open this up. I don't even know if this is pre-ground or, or not, but it feels like it might be. Yes, it is, it's pre-ground. So, uh, now to uh, boil the water and get ready for this taste test. Mmm, smells very earthy. Let me put the water on. So just while that's coming to the boil, I'm going to um, use my tablespoon measure to measure out some coffee. Uh, it's supposed to be, I'm going to put three tablespoons in and 750 mils of, of water. I'm not normally this careful with coffee, uh, I just throw it together. But I do want to get the best experience I can with this, with this Luwak coffee. So there it is, that's uh, three tablespoons of coffee there. And uh, let's see, I've got a measure here somewhere. Uh, that's right, 250 of these. Now I'm going to take care and put it in the sink because um, I spill a lot normally. I mean, when I do things, I spill. So here we go. There's one and I did spill. There's the second one. Spills a little bit. And there's the third one. Actually wants to get involved in this conversation. I'm just gonna put a little bit more to make up for the spillage. There we go. All right. Now, plunge away. I'm very excited about this experience because this is not something I was ever expecting to, uh, to have. So Elizabeth and Troy's generosity um, is ha, was a little bit overwhelming because I, I the uh, the effort that they went to to get a hold of this for me um, was considerable and I appreciate it no end. All right, so I'm going to let that sit and brew for a, a couple of minutes uh, before I do the taste test. All right, so I've got my favourite mug here, and uh, this is one that uh, Kayla bought for me uh, in her recent trip to Hawaii. So uh, now we now we begin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, pour it out as black coffee and drink it first of all black coffee. I don't drink black coffee. I have, I have white coffee, um, but normally I will, um, I mean, I, I, I from time to time uh, enjoy a, a cup of black coffee, but if you're actually going to taste the coffee taste, 
then you do in fact need to uh, do black coffee. So I'm going to do have a couple of uh, sips of this coffee, uh, and then I'll put some water on. I'll put some milk in and, and finish it off a little bit later. But this is the uh, this is the taste test. So here we go. This is uh, Luwek coffee uh, given to us graciously. Uh, well, by uh, Troy and Elizabeth Eason, um, but uh, originally by the Palm Civet. Don't know if we if I explained the process, but uh, Palm Civet eats the coffee beans, and as they pass through their intestinal tract, they ferment, ferment inside the civet, um, and then they are defecated out. And somebody has the wonderful task of collecting the beans from um, uh, from what is uh, what is excreted, and uh, and then they uh, package it together. Um, and it's that fermenting process in the intestines that's supposed to give it. It's uh, it's taste. So let's let's see how we go, shall we? A lot of build up, isn't it? It's a um, it's a very earthy taste. It's very smooth. In fact, um, I could easily drink that without without milk at all. Um, it's, there's a, there's a, a, a real richness to it. Um, it's clearly coffee and, uh, in, um, and, um, as coffee, you, um, would, if you were just handed a cup and not told about it, you, you probably would, um, would not recognize necessarily that there was something significant dif different about it. Um, except to say that this is this is really good coffee. Um, however, knowing the process that's going on and, and analyzing that taste, um, there isn't any, it doesn't, it, there's, no, there's none of the, the bitterness that often goes with, uh, with black coffee, at least to my, to my taste buds. And there is, there is a richness and I can taste it um, um, around my tongue um, and I'm really, I'm really enjoying it. Um, it, this is good. Well, uh, Troy and Elizabeth, thank you so much for for your gift of love, and uh, and um, and cheers. I uh, hope this video uh, comes together and you're able to uh, to see my experience with uh, Luwak coffee. Thank you guys so much, and look forward to seeing you soon. Bye bye. Okay, so I think uh, I need to add a little addendum uh, to the video. Having dr uh, drunk a little bit more of it. Um, my taste buds are beginning to scream out, give me more, give me more, give me more. It really is an enjoyable taste. I've, I've uh, given uh, my kids um, each a, a taste of it and uh, their um, reflection was, wow, this is, this is coffee you can easily drink black um, and it's very, very tasty. And I think that's probably uh, why you would become fixated on having this coffee on a regular basis if you could afford it, is that um, it, it has that kind of taste that says, uh, I need more of that, I need more of that, I need more of that. It's very smooth, no bitterness, um, and uh, it's just an enjoyable cup of coffee. So uh, uh, Elizabeth and Troy, thank you once again uh, for this wonderful coffee. Thanks.